Frizz means he defeated our good friend, Chez Colby Ackerman. Well, Hylian has been putting in a <laughs> yeah, lot of work recently. He, has been, he used to not play Melee as much, but he has been, he wants to get on that power ranking, wants to have a good spot, and he has been proving it. Yeah, no, Hylian, Hylian plays a, I would almost say an offensive style of Fox. He's, he's very willing to go around and camp and do what he needs to do, take advantage of every tool that Fox has. Very, very smart player. Very knowledgeable about the game, too. And let's take a look at this bracket. Yeah, we'll get a look at the bracket here. So, who's the Andale have to play next? Uh, I'm not positive. So, Andale has to play Moon. Well, that no, already that, happened. Yeah, you gotta refresh. Oh, I didn't realize you hadn't refreshed yet. So, we're gonna see Fox Dittos. Um, one of my favorite matchups. So, right, this to beat Metroid. Andale will have to play the winner of Blitzbold and To Be Determined. <laughs> hmm. Good old TBD. Anyway, so. All right. Oh, that goes is, way uh, that deep. Is, uh, highly and special. When I first played against some in Fox Dittos, all he did was back throw shine. Very. Some very people call that the J Man. <laughs> goes back to the center of the stage in an unconventional way. I'm actually kind of glad to see some Fox Dittos after what we've seen mm -hmm. so far. So, um, Frizz, how would you describe Frizz's Fox? You, uh, I haven't aside played, from dead. I've only played Frizz a couple of times, and he's got really good up airs. If I had <laughs> not much I can say, but I notice he has his grab combos are pretty good too. So he's got he's got a great juggle game, you would say. Yeah. Okay. And wow, yeah, he gets it. Those are. Those are the shine spikes we're talking about. I mean, that's such a rough spot for the other Fox because, you know, if he stays there, he gets shine spiked. If he goes back further, Ooh, he can still get shine spiked. On the up air. Okay, Fox opting not to go way off the stage this time. And up smash out of shield. Really miss that up air. Right, Hylian just controlling space right now. Yeah, very, he is very good at doing that. Nope, still living. Ooh, that was crispy. And a good edge guard. Good edge guard, yeah. So what I would like to see Frizz do is a little bit more. I guess just go in a little bit more. You know, maybe make a maybe make a hard committal to some sort of approach because right now Hylian's just Hylian's figuring yeah. out his neutral. Ooh, those multi shines. Multi -shines. Hylian's, Hylian's kind of figured out his neutral, it seems mm -hmm. like. I mean, anytime you see a fox getting that many grabs like that one there. I wonder if this... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh very quick, very quick. Hylian gives a nod. He's at low percent, but you could definitely still bring him back. And tries to fall back with the back air there. You know, one of the it's an edge guard option that we're starting to see more is space oh as you Frizz wonder, goes too low. You wonder if Frizz has a Falcon I know. Frizz used to be a Falcon main, yeah. Mm -hmm. A very, very good Falcon main. Switching to twenty XX. And I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed, and I really wouldn't be surprised if he switched to Falcon. I think after that, the shine spikes, he could adapt. But I hear him going back. Yeah, yes, we we're go. bringing out the Falcon. Blood Probably, Falcon. Dream land. So, obviously, both characters like this stage. Room to run and to live for Falcon, but. Ooh, good choice with the shine after up throw. Hylian talks about this matchup, or talked about this matchup earlier on stream. He said he loves this matchup. And he just. Fox. Basically, what he said is Fox has to just go in. That's the, that's the bottom line. Just Fox has to go in. Keep putting pressure on until. Falcon so, just can't do anything. Basically. Oh, he read it. He just got hugged. Falcon is not afraid to give you a big old whopping hug. Oh, and Frizz that comes knee. in with the knee. And see, that's what I was talking about last game, is that he needs to come in with a somewhat unconventional approach. Um, I guess it's just a little bit more effective when it's Falcon. Oh. Really interesting down smash. Oh, the weak hit. Oh, wow. Perfect Barely recovery. <laughs> but... You can't even roll, Falcon. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> a very, very slow roll and very easy. Just 
to react to. Right. And this is still loses round five, meaning this is still a two out of three. So Frizz needs this if he wants to still be in the tournament. All right. Hylian taking a moment to collect himself, coming back in. Oh, there goes the, the double jump was gone there. Whew. Anytime you see a character's double jump go away against Fox, you hold your breath. Once you see that little ring under them. The ring, seven days. Uh -huh. Ooh, he's trying to get that roll in, Reed. Not just doing me the other way. Right now, Frizz's neutral is a lot better this game, I'd say. Seems to know what's... Like Ooh, gets the read. I think Hylian might be a little more comfortable in the Fox Ditto matchup instead of this. Right, and you know something else that's possible is it wouldn't surprise me. So the spot that I would think that Fox would want to take Falcon in this matchup is probably Yoshi's. So it would not surprise me if Frizz went Fox with the knowledge that he could that he would if he even if he did lose, he wouldn't have to worry about going back to Yoshi's in this Ooh, matchup. Almost read that get up attack. Barely in the space that down there. Now, I always say it's never over when you have those six blue lines. Yeah. The reflector, the shine. As we saw last game, just back throw, shine could end it all. But right now, Frizz is just doing a much better job with his dash dances. He's making it very hard for Hylian to get in at all. Oh. Almost got that knee. You saw him come out. <laughs> oh, this could be and big. As, oh, yeah, oh, the wrong way. It's never over with Fox. Oh, but I think that now it's over. <laughs> so we'll it's see not where over game, until game. Right. So we'll see where they take game three. Could go to FD, but so FD is so FD is a a bit of a I don't I wouldn't call it a gamble, but the thing is, so Fox has his wave shine combos all the way across FD if he needs it. It's a very very difficult place for Falcon. However. Falcon also gets his quick, quick tech chases that can also go on forever. So we're going to see another stage. Both of these characters like Yoshi's... Oh, I'm sorry. Pokemon <laughs> Stadium. Goodness. Kind of jock in for position here. You've seen Hylian go to the guns a little bit more now. Probably... The gun has infinite bullets, and it is uh, very good. A lot of... If you ask advice from top players, a lot of the time, they'll just say, use the gun. Great shield pressure there. This could be big. Okay. I think one of the reasons Hylian's going to the gun a little more is he was having a hard time approaching Frizz. Mm -hmm. So what better way to negate your troubles approaching rather than to not have to approach yeah, anymore? Fox really never has to approach with that gun. Unless he's playing against another Fox. Yeah. Okay. And it's just two Foxes just shooting lanes at each other. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what it was when we, was, uh, when we were friends as kids? <laughs> anyway, okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, so that wave shine should have worked, but it looked like he got pushed off stage, actually. Oh, okay, Ooh. making it back. Interesting choice with the down air. I think. So, yeah, okay, there it finally goes. Frizz had about three or four grabs there around that percent, was just not able to close out the stock. Oh, but this is big. And right now, I'd say the momentum is clearly in Frizz's favor. Hylian's got to get this stock off quick without taking Ooh. a whole lot of damage. That knee would have been a strong hit. Oh, Good went down. for the grab there instead of the up smash. That time the up smash doesn't hit. That up smash doesn't hit. Kind of looks like he's fishing a little bit right now, but let's see if he can regain composure. We're going to have Frizz playing very hard to hit. Okay, going for the back throw. Yeah, that's his back throw. Okay, there you go. And Spot dodge, wave shine, up smash. As, as with Sheik, you can uh, just wave shine, up smash, Falcon. A lot of, few characters. Unfortunately, if they're if they're heavy enough, Hylian playing <laughs> playing hard to hit himself. Ooh, what? How did this? That was frame one, everybody. Frame <laughs> one. Oh no! And Hylian, you can't be giving him can't be giving him any stocks like that this late in the stage. Right now, Frizz just has a read on Hylian. Well, Ooh, we're seeing Falcon has definitely been the right choice. Yeah. The switch has paid off quite a bit. See if we can get anything here. Gets Ooh, that other grab. Yeah, oh, gets zone. the drop zone knee. Drop zone and all the momentum is in Frizz's favor right now. We oh, and another yeah, knee. And he oh, this should be it. Another knee and a really, handshake. Frizz really just took control of that last game. 
The grabs, man. He who and controls the grabs controls the games.